Welcome to the Investment Properties for Sale show, folks. Thing is selling at or above list. We are going to provide you guys with complete transparency and education. We take you to the video tour. Won't watch TV, giving it to you straight. We're talking mixed use multifamily investing in Cleveland, baby. 2140 Broadview Road, Cleveland. 44109. 44109. That is the old Brooklyn area, folks. Now, this bad boy is fully occupied, okay? We got a hair salon and then three two bedroom apartments, right? This thing is a friggin' cash cow. So if you are a local investor or an out of state investor who's looking to pick up multi-family for pennies on the dollar from what you are used to this is gonna probably check off the majority of your boxes right the current owner he's getting decent rents out of everything right you know as far as the salon goes the retail unit right he's getting eight and a quarter that's fine that's great i don't see why you would be able to get any more than that but i will say uh he is leaving a little bit of money on the table for the first uh three units right the uh, residential units right he's pulling in 650 675 580 right honestly those are 750 dollars units however right we got to talk strategy folks right those are 750 dollars units he's currently bringing in 2730 a month i believe he you could tick that up to almost 3100 but don't get crazy, right? I see a lot of you guys, you get crazy, and you're like, oh, well, if the market rent is 750 and this tenant's paying 675 I need to up his rent $75 or I'm losing money. Yes and no, right, folks? Investing, right? Investing is a people business okay you have to understand that there's people and there's variables involved with those people and you have to do what makes the most sense for your business on the net return side of things okay getting more gross income in the door does not necessarily always mean you're going to get more net income okay there's something to be said about reducing your expenses going out the door right so in my opinion i think your best bet is to take the building over keep everybody at the same rate re-sign them all to new 12 month leases with your new property manager preferably holton wise because all of these tenants they're currently on a month to month with the last owner right you want to do that for a couple reasons reason number one you don't want to immediately go to market rents when you're dealing with an acquisition because anytime there's an acquisition tenants are usually a little flighty and they get a little nervous that the new landlord's going to be a prick and it's going to be different and then of course you got a big old company like holton wise coming in right it's not like you know your landlord's name it's not like you just text hey joe joe the landlord what's up right it doesn't work that way right Right? You got whole wise, we got 60 plus employees. So it already can kind of put a little bit of tenants who are used to dealing with a mom and pop owner like these folks at a, you know, a little bit of a, a heightened sense of, oh, what's going on, right? So if you then try to shove a rental increase at them, I could really move them, uh, you know, to maybe being a little flighty, wanting to leave or arguing with you on signing that new lease. And guess what? That new lease, that's going to protect you, the landlord, a lot more. And it's going to protect the tenants, right? The idea with a lease is you have all the rules of the land, the rules of the house, the rules of the building laid out. So if a tenant doesn't pay rent on that first month, it's very simple and easy process evicting them. What you don't ever want to do is go to court with a tenant who's never paid you rent before and there's no lease signed by them with you, right? Because then they're always able to, at the very least, delay the eviction hearing, thus costing you more money. Yes, we always win those cases. We do eventually get all the non-payers out. But if we got to go to court three times versus one time, well, guess what? You just pay triple the attorney fees to us, right? So what I would do with this one, even though I'm projecting a higher market rent, I would immediately try to get everybody on 12 month leases under our terms and then at the 12 month mark when it goes to renewal then we start bumping them up slowly right the goal should be to get them up to 750 without creating 
artificial turnovers because artificial turnovers is what kill us right soon as you move out a tenant folks as you can see from the footage none of these apartments are the Taj Mahal here right you got to refresh them to get them ready for the next tenants right so let's avoid doing that right the most money that you're ever going to make on an apartment building is an apartment building that has a very consistent level of occupancy, right? Moving people in, moving people out, this or that. That's how you just rack up the fees, which don't get me wrong. I love collecting fees, but that's not going to make you the highest return. Speaking of return, I want to make sure I'm very clear on this one, right? Because I get a lot of investors out there that watch the show who are newer to the investment space. You guys probably, if you watched a lot of my shows, you hear me talk about quads and how you can get the, the traditional financing on quads, and it's really good. What you have to understand about this quad, it is a friggin' cash cow, but you need to know that this is very, 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 very unlikely to qualify for anything resembling a 30-year loan. You're going to be on commercial financing terms because it is not a one-to-four unit all residential building, right? This is a mixed-use building. We are dealing with retail space, right? We are dealing with a salon. So... Like anything in this world, it's a double-edged sword, right? You got to take the good with the bad. So with this particular one, the good is you can get a business owner like the salon owner who stays there for way longer than your regular residential tenants are going to be there, right? Because they're an established business entity, and this is where their customer base knows to go with them. And you're getting higher than market rent, right? You'd only be able to get 750 if it was a residential unit. It's not. It's commercial, so you're able to up that to 825 Those are great. But the flip side of that is you can't get that 30-year loan. You're going to need to deal with commercial lenders. If you need a commercial lender, folks, don't you worry. You just send an email to my team, give us your number, we'll call you, and we'll hook you up with some lenders, right? As far as the folks that already have lenders or those folks that are ready to pay cash for this bad boy, because I don't know where else you're getting this type of rent on a four-unit building for one nine nine nine. You ain't doing that in most any market in the United States, folks. So for those of you who are interested in making an offer, ready to rock and roll, send your offer to my team, sales at holtonwise.com. If it's a cash offer, include the proof of funds, right? I'm talking a screenshot of your bank account if you got your account number or your social security number on there you go ahead and black that bad boy out okay i don't i don't need to see that i'm not trying to identity theft you or nothing so you can go ahead and black that thing out if you're getting a loan that's cool again commercial loans kick over the pre-approval letter and let us know how much you want to offer i will then personally handle and field your offers talk to the seller directly for those of you that uh, are working with your own buyer's agent maybe from other brokerages around town in cleveland if you have your own realtor of course we are down to work with them all of the showing information and info on how they can present offers to us is listed in the broker remarks section of the mls right so if you're watching my show but you have uh, your own realtor, tell them to go on the MLS. They can figure it out from there. And if they can't, well, hot damn. I don't know if that's the realtor you want to be working with, folks. That's all I've got today. And by the way, if you're new here, right, if you're new here to Holton Wise and the process of buying this property seemed a little fast, seemed a little rushed, maybe you don't want to move that quick, maybe you want a little bit more one-on-one -on -one attention, what I'd recommend you do is obviously subscribe, right, and then check out our other show, the MLS Search and Analysis Show. In that show, I work with you guys directly, one-on-one, -on -one, right? You give me your investment criteria, and I go out there and I find properties that meet it, right? This show, this is all about properties being sold from our inventory, so it's kind of like a, an auction, so to speak, right? We got a lot of people watching Holton Wise TV from all over the world, so things on this show are going to move quickly, right? So if you're an investor who kind of knows what you want to do, you see a good deal, you want to make an offer, boom, you're in the right place. But if you're an investor who's just getting ready to jump into Cleveland, just want to dip your toes in the water, want to talk to us on the phone, want to get your criteria out there, want to get one-on-one -on -one personalized videos and feedback from me, again, that's going to be the MLS Search and Analysis Show, or just skip all that, email my team, give us your phone number, we will call you immediately within a couple business days and get you on your way to investing in Cleveland real estate. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.